Career Skills, for the New Economy, by Bruce Tulgans. Future Workplace Industrial revolution led to a surprisingly rapid growth in the economy. It was basically due to the everyday growing demands of the market which further accelerated the pace of change in the form of technology, competition and globalization. This made the business leaders of the late 20th century to re-engineer the organizational flexibility to acquire more speed and efficiency. The change further paved the way for the modern approach by eliminating the excessive involvement of different layers of management. The modern workplace approach enables the teams of employees by giving them enough flexibility to do anything at any time. The change was in fact meant to serve certain causes which included constant flux, self-growth, consistent update, and immediate response. As a result, the new economy emerged having the following seven factors as its structural essentials. 1. Regular re-engineering to keep the technology updated to improve flexibility, efficiency and effectiveness. 2. Regular reconstruction of teams to develop their skills. 3. Our world is changing so rapidly and it is all because of technological advancements, so the use of technology to get the work done more effectively is a necessity. 4. Upgrading the knowledge and skills to stay competent and add value to the product or services you are working on. 5. Acknowledging the diversity to work in modern world. 6. Thinking globally to grow and meet the conditions of modern markets. 7. The use of the virtual systems allows access to ample resources all the time to meet the demands. It is these factors the presence of which the employers ensure during new appointment. That is what the employees also need to work on to grow and advance in the modern economy order. Creating Success Our success lies in our own hands. It is up to us whether we avail it or not. Addressing the right strategies appropriately, we can ensure our success regardless of which field we relate to. It is actually our attitude towards what we do that can make the whole difference. If we develop a learning attitude, we can maintain our growth to get the very purpose served. We must ensure our consistent efforts with regards to the following strategies to keep our skills and competencies up to the mark. Number 1. Strategic and voracious learning is the key to meet the demands in the context of the new economy as what we are learning now would soon become obsolete in the near future, so it is inevitable for you to build transferable skills and absorb knowledge like a sponge in order to ensure carrying this strategy effectively. Number 2. Appropriate relationship building plays a vital role in both personal as well as professional development. You must develop reliable relationships to get the best of guidance. Finding the fellows with similar interest can prove effective to build a mutually beneficial relationship. To build a good relationship, focus on what you can offer to others rather than what you need from them. Number 3. To grow with value adding approach is inevitably important when it comes to advancement in the new economy. You can do that by performing exceptionally well. It requires you to compete with both others' performance as well as your own previous performance. Number 4. Maintaining physical, mental, and spiritual balance is important in order to ensure the effectiveness of your learning and making it productive to its potential best. That is how we can prove ourselves capable of the positions we already hold or the ones we want to take as our career. Self-management. Self-management is the primary condition in order to ensure your success in the modern economy. You need to address certain specific factors which duly help you to get this purpose served. For example, self-identification and acknowledgement lies at the bottom when it comes to self-management. Furthermore, having a clear vision of your goals or what do you want to achieve is essential for building the roadmap you want to move on towards. You are suggested to comprehensively explore yourself with respect to the following four factors to get the very purpose served. 1. First of all, you must identify who you really are. 
you need to explore your essence beyond your apparent self. It requires you to identify your uniqueness by examining your priorities and your natural approach to growth. Once you find who you are as an individual, you will know what factors must be worked on in this respect. 2. Once you identify your essence on the basis of your priorities, what you further need to address are your goals. In order to deal with your goals, you must have a clear vision about them. Moreover, keeping strict deadlines, taking immediate initiative, being consistent, managing time well, and approaching your goals resiliently help you effectively to get the purpose served. 3. Having sought who you are and what you want, you must have already built the sense of what sort of personality you want to achieve. What you must ensure in your personality are higher standards, integrity, and adaptability. You need to be accountable for whatever you say or do. It further requires you to think beyond self and be open to change for this purpose. 4. Lastly, what you are supposed to do is to know your natural place with regard to various situations. You are suggested to develop your context evaluation skills as you need them before building upon any of the various specific situations. Being critical. Critical thinking is essential to grow in rationality. It helps you get to the right conclusions having considered different aspects of the matter by looking into the reliable and unreliable information. You are required to question your priors instead of judging things right away on the basis of your assumptions. The skill of thinking critically can be adapted as a habit. Every time you get to take decisions, make sure that you give it a conscious attempt while keeping your prior assumptions aside. Once you form critical approach as your habit, you will ensure to explore every potential aspect of the matter before reaching the conclusion. The following five steps are suggested to be practiced in order to build a critical attitude. Step 1. Suspend judgment every time you come across some new question, problem, or information and pause for a while to have a look at it. Step 2. Question assumptions after having suspended your judgment to clarify your concept on the rational grounds. Step 3. Uncover the facts by addressing them through traditional method of questioning with who, what, how, why, when, where, etc. Step 4. Analyze your information by keeping before the goals you want to acquire and know the possible results so that you can maintain focus and clarity. Step 5. Decide to take on your next practical step while having the potential outcomes in your mind. The five steps suggested can be easily remembered in the acronym form, SQUAD. Practicing the SQUAD, you can develop your rational thinking and get into the habit of being critical all the time, which are essential skills with regard to the new economy context. Mastering Human Relations Ability to deal with the people well has always been underrated. We do not give it the value it actually deserves as we are rather immersed in developing other professional skills. The new economy being based on global approach makes it even more necessary for an individual to be well skilled in human relations. Below are the eight rules the implementation of which must be ensured in order to be good at human relations. 1. You need to be a model of trust and hold yourself accountable for whatever you do and instead of the excuses, you need to apologize and try to fix the mistake. 2. You need to be honest and get rid of your ego while maintaining your credibility. 3. Be a good listener and never interrupt the other person while speaking so as to respond to things respectively. 4. Empathize with people by putting yourself in their place to respond to them. 5. Exhibit courtesy in respect to its potential to connect well with others. 6. Speak up when needed and express yourself clearly, because if you don't say what is going on in your mind, you will not have the chance to connect with others or influence them. 7. You need to stay positive regardless of conditions to motivate others and never discuss a problem unless you have a possible solution for it. 8. Give others the due credit they deserve and celebrate their success.
Relating to valuable decision makers. Relating to the decision makers is conditional for success with regard to the new economy context. Networking does not mean connecting with people alone, in its true sense, it means to relate to those who can add to your experience through theirs. You must have a reason to connect with the people, that is a business or similar interest, etc. Here are the 10 steps suggested to help you relate to the right people in a right manner through networking. 1. Clarify what services you can offer in the relationship. 2. Ensure that you are connecting with the right person having the authority. 3. Make some research before you relate to the people. 4. Aim at developing a mutual relation with them. 5. Make your communication engaging and useful. 6. Expand your contact list through multiplying them. 7. Contact the decision makers through reliable sources. 8. Get valuable attention by presenting yourself clearly. 9. Do not forget to follow up once you build the relation. 10. Update your contact information on a regular basis. Managing your boss. You invest your time and efforts in the workplace to get paid off for them. What you need beside that to get it valued is the art of creating and availing opportunities. That is where you require your boss to help you out. Getting the potential best through them can help you excel as per the needs of the modern economy. You will have to be true to yourself first and express your accountability through what you do. Only then you can draw the attention of your boss to help you serve your purpose. You must follow the guidelines suggested below to manage your boss in this respect. 1. Get clear about the assignments you get from your boss. 2. Get feedback from your boss upon accomplishing your goals. 3. Get your manager's support on setting specific learning objectives. 4. Put your requests in a proposal form to suggest benefits. 5. Set yourself free from the micromanagement to get space. 6. Do not let your boss take you for granted. Managing others. Before aspiring for the higher post, we must prove ourselves worth it as the higher the position the more the responsibility. It is because the number of people to be dealt with increases with every rank up. This requires you to be good at managing a great number of people to prove yourself capable for the position. Following six suggestions are basically meant to help you serve the purpose with reference to the new economy context specifically. Number 1. Empower your subordinates by entrusting the responsibilities you assign to them. Number 2. Ensure that the tasks you assign to them are achievable, and help them in every possible manner to encourage them for its effective accomplishment. Number 3. Ensure that they have all the resources required for achieving their respective targets while you also need to anticipate the potential obstacles they may come across during their take on it. Number 4. You need to coach them effectively by using the fast feedback approach to ensure their learning and growth. Fast feedback refers to a system which in short contains all the best practices based on continued workplace interview research conducted by Rainmaker Thinking where FAST is the acronym for frequent, accurate, specific, timely. Number 5. Make sure that you present them with rewards on the basis of their performance without being biased or favorable to anyone. Number 6. Be aware not to be abusive in approach while dealing with people regardless of how harsh and chaotic the situation gets. Take Total Customer Service Approach To maintain your growth with regards to the context of new economy, it is necessary to adapt to customer service mindset. That is to suggest that you should get yourself in the habit of considering everyone with the Total Customer Service Approach. You are a business in yourself as you perform your services all the time regardless of with which firm you are associated. You must know what it really takes to deal with people in this respect. 
It is suggested to learn to fill in for the shortcomings through acknowledgement of your flaws. Furthermore, you are required to practice this approach all the time whether you are at the workplace context with your managers and subordinates, or directly dealing with the suppliers and customers. Here are some of the guidelines supposed to prove effective when practically implemented. 1. Identify opportunities through getting exposure to as much work as you can and meet the challenges well by serving the purpose timely and productively. Furthermore, improve your productivity inventing better services through identifying and solving the problems which are not addressed before. 2. Sell your way by lifting yourself up to the mark. It requires you to prepare a persuading sales message and keep the backup answers to that proposal ready. 3. You need to close the deal effectively by knowing your target and how to approach it appropriately to serve the purpose. 4. You do not need to stop having delivered and ensure yourself to go even further by under-promising and over-delivering. Success happens one moment at a time. Small single accomplishments lead to greater long-term success. You need to deal with every single moment effectively, because every moment counts. What it suggests is to make every moment count by focusing on it specifically rather than getting distracted by trying to approach the multiple tasks at a time. The following guidelines can prove effective in this respect with reference to the context of new economy. 1. Write down the goals you want to achieve by the end of the year and stick with them. 2. Select what goals need to be worked on immediately and set deadlines for each of them. 3. Subdivide the yearly goals into monthly and weekly goals to be accomplished by then. 4. Focus on the goals to be achieved by the week and plan the steps you will need to take throughout the process. 5. Finalize the actions to be taken immediately and take an initiative focusing on the individual goals to be achieved. You need to know that the only way to get success is by taking one moment at a time as every moment is vital for your success. What we learned. What was the core message that we got from this book? The modern workplace approach enables the teams of employees by giving them enough flexibility to do anything at any time. Addressing the right strategies appropriately, we can ensure our success regardless of which field you relate to. You can achieve success by making every moment count. It is actually our attitudes towards what we do that make the whole difference. Self-management is the primary condition in order to ensure your success in the modern economy. You are required to question your priors instead of judging things right away on the basis of your assumptions. Once you form critical thinking approach as your habit, you will ensure to explore every potential aspect of the matter before reaching the conclusion. The new economy being based on global approach makes it even more necessary for one to be well skilled in human relations. Networking does not mean connecting with people alone, in its true sense it means to relate to those who can add to your experience through theirs. The higher the position, the more the responsibility.